हॅलो स्टुडंट्स दिस इज मिस पूजा अरुण मात्रे लेक्चरर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अँड टेलिकम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन प्रवीण पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ डिप्लोमा इंजिनिअरिंग अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी भाईंदर ईस्ट सब्जेक्ट कम्प्युटर नेटवर्किंग अँड डेटा कम्युनिकेशन दॅट इज सी एन डी सब्जेक्ट फोर इज डबल टू सिक्स थ्री फोर नाव वी विल लर्न अबाउट द प्रॅक्टिकल्स ऑफ सी एन डी द प्रॅक्टिकल नंबर वन the before going to the practical number 1 we will see the little bit introduction of of the cnd practicals so practical outcomes that is pos are first po is a basic knowledge the basic knowledge is applied knowledge of basic mathematics science and basic engineering to solve the broad based electronics and telecommunication engineering problems po2 is a discipline knowledge this is apply electronics and telecommunication engineering knowledge to solve the broad based electronics and telecommunication engineering related problems po3 is a experiments and practice so experiments and practice it is plan to perform the experiments and practice to use of the result to solve the broad based electronics and telecommunication engineering problem po4 that is engineering tool it apply the relevant electronics and telecommunication technologies and tools with an understanding of the limitations po5 the engineering and the society access the social health safety legal and cultural issues and the consequent responsibilities relevant to the practice in the field of electronics and telecommunication engineering po5 po6 is the environment and sustainability apply the electronics telecommunication engineering solution also for the sustainable development practices in a social and environmental context practice 7 is apply the ethical program principles for commitment to professional ethics responsibilities and the norms of the practical also in the field of electronics and telecommunication engineering PO8 is individual and team work function effectively as a leader and team member in a different teams 9 is a communication it communicate effectively in oral and written form also 10 is a lifelong learning it engage a independent and lifelong learning activities in the context of technological changes also in the techno electronics and telecommunication industries and allied industry then the poso that is program specific outcomes are the poso1 that is electronics and telecommunication system it maintains the various types of electronics and telecommunication system poso2 that is eda tool uses use the eda tools to develop the simple electronics and telecommunication engineering related to the circuits the what are the skills developed using this practical the following industry relevant skills of competency maintain the computer network systems are expected to be developed in a students by undertaking the practicals of this laboratory manuals the first one is the identify the network and communication component second one test network and communication component third one suggest the network and communication component of proper significance specification as per the requirement fourth one is a test the performance of the network device fifth one is a troubleshoot the computer network then connect the computer's network devices as per the requirement and the last one is the use the tools effectively then these are the total list of the practicals including their cos the course outcomes that is chapter names course outcomes of the chapters are it first chapter is based on the maintain wired computer network topologies second is use of the relevant network model for the specified data communication system then sixth third one is a maintain the relevant transmission medium and modem for the data transmission fourth one is analyze the error detection correction of flow control of the data in the data network fifth one is a configure the network component and assign the ip address these are the five course outcome of the cnd
Then the list of the practicals are practical outcomes are that is PRO and PO are the program outcome. So first practical is the analyze the type of network topology used in a program, use your lab and prepare the technical specification for it. This will come in a CO1 that is A. Second practical is connect the computer in bus topology and transfer the data. This will come under the COA. Connect the computers in star topology and the test performance. It comes under the COA. Then the fourth practical that is install, configure and test the peer-to-peer -peer LAN and sharing of resources. This will come under the COA and B. Fifth one is a configure point-to-point -point network in laboratory. This will come under the COA and B. Sixth one is a prepare the patch cord and the cross connection cables used to connect the devices on the LAN. This will come under the COC. Seventh one using a hub or switch install a LAN network consisting of six computers. This will come under the COB and C. Then the eighth one practical is a locate the error bit in the given data stream by applying the different error detection methods. This will come under the COD. Ninth practical is correct the error in a given data stream by applying the different error correction methods. This will come under the COB and COD. Tenth practical is used to root command to test the performance of the given network. This will come under the practical COE. Eleventh one is, is install the test router and repeater and bridges. This practical comes under the COB and D. 12th practical is assign the IP address to the PC connected to the internet. This will come under the COB and D. Practical number 13 that is configure or test the internet connectivity. This will come under the COB and D. E. Practical number 14 that is use FTP protocol to transfer the file from one system to another. This will come under the COA, B and E. Then practical number 15 that is install and configure the firewall for the network security. This will come under the COB and E. And the last practical is interconnect two PCs using RS-232 cable and transfer the data as a null modem configuration that is comes under the E. This is the introduction of the CND practical. So now we will go to the practical number one. So practical number one aim is analyze the type of network topology used in your lab and prepare the technical specification for it. So the practical significance is internet based communication is assuming an increasingly important role in the developing the world. So internet is a important part of the world. So it is thus Crucial that students be exposed to contemporary networking equipment in a realistic setting in order to connect the theoretical concepts thought in lecture courses with the real realities of physical hardware. This practical will be unable to students to identify the various networking devices available in the lab and the way they are connected in the network. So using this practical we can easily we can connect connect the various hardware devices we can configure the device we can maintain the device this practically we thought the things the po the program outcomes of this practical are discipline knowledge experiments and practice individual and teamwork and the contemporary practical skill will be given in this practical as this practical will be expected to develop the following skill for the industry identified competency that is maintain a computer network system and identify the various networking device and connect them in a network. The relevant course outcome is maintain wired computer network topologies that is chapter number one. So theoretical background for, for this practical is a network refers to the two or more connected computers that can share the resources such as data, printer, scanner, internet connection, applications, etc. and all other the resources. 
is to enable the computers to get connected in a different network control devices and transmission media are also used. The following network accessories and control devices are required for performing the various functions of a computer network. So these are the devices network accessories. The first network accessory is the cable. The image is shown in a table. It is used for the communication. This is a twisted pair cable used as a communication medium that allows data to flow through it. Second one is a connector. So it is a RJ45. It is a type of connector commonly used for or Ethernet networking. So RJ refers to register the jack. Ethernet is the standard way to connect computer on the network over a wired con connection. Third one is a network interface card that is NIC. NIC is an expansion board that can be inserted into a computer so the com computer can connect it to the network. So most NIC are designed for the particular type of network, protocol and media. Although some can serve the multiple networks. And next one is a hub switch. So hub is a common connection point for the devices in a network. A hub contains the multiple ports. Switch is a device that filters and forwards the packets between the LAN segment. Then there is a bridge. Bridge is a device that connects the two local area networks or two segments of the same LAN that use for the same protocol. Next one is a router. So router is a device that forwards the data packets along a network and router is a connected to at least two networks. Then the repeater. A repeater is a device that receives a signal and transmit it. Repeater are used to exchange the transmission so that the signal can cover the longer distance or be received on the other side of the obstruction. This figure shows the computer lab of our college that is Pravin Patil College. In each, uh, each A lab, there are total 20 PCs are there and one computer and one server PC. So one server PC shares the all resources that is printer scanner with all the computers. Computer. So this is the structure of our computer lab. This is a network used in our lab. There, there are the switch of 24 bits and port and 64 port. So there are the switch of 24 port. These are, are the switch connected to the each and every PC. The Ethernet connection are given to the switch from the computer to the server PC and server to the switch. So each and every computer has the internet accessibility using the Ethernet. So observation uh, of the computer are uh, our lab is computer configuration is component part is processor name of the manufacturer is Intel and specification is i7 then the hard disk is a WD manufacturer that is a 1 TB operating system is Microsoft Office then the specification MS my operating system is MS and the specification is Windows 7 then the RAM is the company of the Dynet and it is a 4 GB then the network components are used is a switch or hub that is you, the company of the switch or hub is the D-Link and the number of ports are 24 and the speed is 1 GB. The cable are used in the lab are CAT6 type. The speed is 1 GB per and the connector is a RJ45. Here the practical number 1 is completed. Thank you.